Hi, my name is Dr. Robert Anthony. I'm a child surgeon in Bangalore, but I'm here today talking as a parent and as someone who's very interested in, in the school system for our children. I recently saw a forward in one of the parents' groups, and uh, I just want to, to, to read the first few lines so that you get the context of what I'm going to talk about. This is written by a parent with no name. It said that online classes by private schools has exposed the poor quality of teachers across the country. Parents are now able to see teachers teaching on a real-time basis, and we are shocked at the way the teachers communicate and teach. The poor pronunciation, spelling errors, the harsh tone of voice, and the lack of warmth, and the lack of friendliness in teachers has outraged many parents. Questions are now also being raised about the high fees that they charge and the value delivered in return. I just want to share my thoughts on this. I'm a surgeon for more than 20 years and I'm pretty good at the job that I do. But even now, when a parent requests me when I'm about to operate on their baby and they say, Doctor, I want to come inside the operating theater to see how the surgery is done on my child, the answer is a clear no. There many times the parent is themselves a doctor or a nurse and when they request it, most surgeons all over the world don't allow it. This is basically because no matter how skilled or experienced you may be in your job, doing it while being watched live changes the stakes, even for the most simple job. And when a, as a parent, we teach our children at home in the evening for one or two hours and uh, teaching them one-on-one. -on -one. I'm sure we're able to give a lot of warmth and keep a gentle voice and teach them as a one-on-one as -on -one relationship. But even there, honestly, when I've tried it, I do end up raising my voice and being a little unfriendly to my child when he doesn't listen. Put yourself in a situation where you're handling 20 to 40 students even under one roof in the real classroom, it's not easy. But they've learned how to handle that. And suddenly now, they're having to, to teach 20 to 40 children online, each child in their own home, and most children having a parent sitting next to them, and the teacher being knowing that they're being watched by these teachers. It is a different world. I'm not making excuses for some of the teachers who you saw. But I'm saying let's not tar all our teachers with the lack of respect for them. As about the poor pronunciation, trust me, in most of these prestigious tuition centers which teach our older children for IIT or the NEET or the, or the other exams, most of the highly sought teachers are not the ones with the best pronunciation. They're the ones who are able to give their concepts clear to the children. In fact, the children prefer to listen to them because they're able to learn much faster. Even in my own work situation, there are some doctors who are, who are terrible in their pronunciation. Trust me, terrible. And they come across quite rude as well. But their work is excellent. At the end of the day, in some professions, it is the end result which matters, not the presentation. I'm not saying that, they sh that it's an excuse, but let us be patient. And they are learning. And let's look at the whole picture which they're doing. Teachers in Almost all the schools are generally trained professionals. If you have a doubt about their training, if you think that the school, your school, is employing untrained people, go check, double check, look for proof that they are trained. And they're trained in their subject, and they're trained in handling kids under one roof, under their direct supervision. They've not been trained in handling 40 children in different homes at a distance. Working from home comes naturally to some of your professions. It comes to the software people, it comes to maybe the call center people, or technical financial people. It doesn't adapt itself to schools very easily or to hospitals very easily. I'm struggling. I'm doing online consultations now because of the corona period, and it's really hard. And I tell my patients, I said, look, I can do this much on the telephone session with you, but if I can't figure it out, I'll have to wait till you come back and then I'll check again. And I'm, all I'm asking is, please don't uh, put additional stress 
on these teachers who are learning. Some of them are, are not young and they've never done an online class before. Let's give them the patience. The future might well be homeschooling because this might change the world uh, of education completely. And uh, I'm sure then that those of us who, have, who attach a lot of importance to the concerns which have been raised will be able to then do it from home and uh, in a far better environment. And you are completely at liberty to choose this in the future. For now, don't be in a hurry. Don't be harsh. And in fact, the government of India has already provided the, the platform for open schooling, the NIOS, which will facilitate this in case you, some parents do move on to this and they might well do it. There was an attempt to link this poor performance, as you perceive it, uh, to the high fees which are charged by the school managements. If you have a concern with the fees, take it up with the school managements or take it up as a parent body with your school management together. I'm sure the concerns are legitimate, but please don't drag our teachers into the fee issue. They are not part of that problem. They are not part of that issue. In fact, in this country, teachers are generally not paid well and we have to, 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 to really hang our heads in shame sometime that uh, compared to the Western world, uh, teachers may not be treated as well in this country. And uh, therefore, to link the high fees to the teacher's pronunciation is a bit harsh. We come from a country where teachers are respected greatly. And uh, Guru Devo Bhava is what we learnt with. Corona probably is changing that. But I think that's because of the anxiety which everybody is facing. Our children are facing the anxiety. It's a world they've not understood at all, of not being able to go out or to be, meet their friends. They are in isolation at home without meeting their best friends and, and running on the field and getting their energy out. Our parents are under the same anxiety. Our, our work, our home situation, and the fear for our children's future. I'm sure the parents are anxious as well. That may be what is fueling some of this anxiety collectively. Our teachers also are at a, anxiety levels which are unparalleled before because they are now learning to teach with every child having a parent like a helicopter hovering around the child. My honest suggestion, if your child is taking online classes, get them a headphone which shuts out the rest of the home environment. Let the child focus on the class. If you are next to the child throughout the lecture, your child is not going to focus on the class. He's also wondering what you're doing there. He's looking at your expressions. And if you hear something which you don't like and you shake your head in a disparaging moment, he will understand that. And he will also not pay respect to what he's learning.